the voyage of learning about metals and non-metals is not over yet. We still need to discover a lot of fascinating and significant facts. Moving forward, we shall learn about the ionic bond and the properties of ionic compounds in this module. We have learned in the previous module that an ionic bond is formed by the transfer of electrons from one atom to another. When a metal reacts with a non-metal, transfer of electrons takes place from the metal atom to the non-metal to form an ionic bond. The ionic bond is nothing but a strong force of attraction between the oppositely charged ions, that is the cation and the anion. Now that we have understood what is an ionic bond, we shall learn its important properties. Following the mantra of learning by doing, let us perform an activity that will help us in learning about the properties of the ionic compounds. Let us take samples of three salts, namely sodium chloride, potassium iodide and barium chloride and place them on three watch glasses respectively. Now we shall observe their physical state. We note that all the three salts are crystalline solids and somewhat hard. It is because of the strong forces of attraction between the two oppositely charged ions present in the molecule. These ions strongly attract each other and form a regular crystalline structure. These crystals of ionic compounds are generally hard and brittle. Let us take small amount of sodium chloride on the tip of a glass rod and heat it directly in the flame. Observe carefully. When the flame is observed carefully, it can be noted that the blue flame of the burner turns beautiful intense yellow and sometimes orangish yellow in color. On observing carefully, we also note that the salt does not melt even on prolonged heating, indicating that it has high melting points. Presumably, if the melting points are high, the boiling points would further be higher. With different glass rods, we shall repeat the same activity with potassium iodide and barium chloride. The color of the flame in the case of potassium iodide is lilac and in case of barium chloride is pale yellowish green. We now realize that metal ions of ionic compounds give a characteristic flame. In both the cases, we again observe that the metal salts do not melt. It leads us to the conclusion that ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points. We shall now take about 5 grams of sodium chloride in 3 test tubes. Let us label them as A, B and C. In test tube A, let us add about 10 ml of water. Let us now shake it a little and observe it carefully. Sodium chloride readily dissolves in water, indicating that ionic compounds are generally readily soluble in water. Let us repeat this process 
by adding kerosene to test tube B and petrol to test tube C. Here we note that the salt does not dissolve in either petrol or kerosene. Repeat the same activity with potassium iodide and barium chloride. The observation only reconfirms the fact that ionic compounds are soluble in water but insoluble in organic solvents namely petrol and kerosene. Let us observe if water and some solutions conduct electricity. We shall do this through an activity that is by passing an electric current through the solutions namely water, solutions of sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, copper sulphate and zinc sulphate. The electrical conductivity through a solution involves the movement of charged particles. Thus, the ions in the solution move within the solution carrying their charge towards the oppositely charged electrode, thus allowing electricity to pass through the solution. We note that distilled water which is a form of pure water does not conduct electricity whereas the solutions of all the salts taken for the activity conduct electricity. Hence the ionic compounds are good conductors of electricity. But remember always that salts do not conduct electricity in the solid state due to their rigid crystal structure. But the ionic compounds conduct electricity when in a molten state because in the molten state the electrostatic forces of attraction between oppositely charged ions are overcome with the help of heat energy. Thus the ions move freely conducting electricity. Let us now encapsulate what we have learned in this module. Metal salts are crystalline solid and somewhat hard. These ions strongly attract each other and form a regular crystalline structure. These crystals of ionic compounds are generally hard and brittle. The ionic metal salts have high melting and boiling points. Sodium metal salt when exposed to the flame turns the color of the flame to intense yellow or orangish yellow. Potassium metal salts when exposed to the flame turn the color of the flame to lilac color. Barium metal salt when exposed to the flame turns the color of the flame to pale yellowish green color. Ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points. Ionic substances are soluble in water but insoluble in organic solvents namely petrol and kerosene. The ionic compounds are good conductors of electricity. The ionic compounds conduct electricity when in an aqueous solution and when in the molten state.